Alright, and welcome ladies and gentlemen, I am King Lucid, and today, I am not going to bed. I was originally going to, but I decided I'm not. Most of the problems have been resolved, we've got new leadership, we've got a new battalion commander, new battery commander, new first sergeant, new executive officer, new motor sergeant, we have a whole new team that's been taken apart, mixed up, and put back together. So instead, today... I am going to be talking about one person that's on every team. As many times you take apart a team, mix it up, give them whatever they need, and put them back together, there's still going to be that one person that does two very annoying things that I absolutely loathe. That was gross. We're talking about the person who complains and in their own mind, they're the only ones allowed to complain. I'm talking about the person who has to sweep and they complain it sucks, but they're on their phone mostly. The person who, that was still gross. Stop putting them in your mouth and putting them back in the bowl. Child. We're talking about the person who complains and if you complain in the slightest or the tiniest of things, you're wrong. I absolutely hate when they complain and you agree. And you're still wrong. Like, for example, let's see, what's a good one? What is a good one? N not the new one, but like a few old ones. He was there was this guy, he was complaining that he had to work the weekend. And I said, Yeah, that sucks. He said, Shut up, you weren't even doing anything. He was on his phone. I was not. But I'm wrong. Another thing that I absolutely hate, like Oh my god, I hate this so much. I absolutely hate when that person, that person right there who complains, says, stop complaining, you know what you signed up for. Yeah, you're right. I do know what I signed up for. And so far, this, this ain't it. I remember way back when, um, like before you're up, and then a little bit after you're up, we had an NCO who was very, very by the book. And he'd been to all these places that were absolute hell. So he went at everything with a tactical attitude. And in a tactical manner, there was a lot of strategies and stuff. Like every, there was a list of everything we needed to do. And he was like, we're gonna knock this out, we're gonna knock this out, we can't do this, we're gonna try this one. And it, it was more a tactical than technical. And he was better with tactical. But he was still really good. And he helped us a lot. And he said, don't base what, how you feel about the army based off your first duty station. And I can't really help it. It's hard not to. I've already done it. So I kind of just want to be over with it. So, yeah. <laughs> I can't really not do that. I've already done it. Stop touching, child. Where's Daughtry? I can't not base how I feel about the army on my first duty station. Because it's probably going to be my only duty station. But there's, there's a lot of stuff that just... It could be better. It really could. There's a lot of, like... I understand that in our creeds, it says, I will always place the mission first, but my mission is to get the vehicles up, and I can't do that if leadership is just like, no, we're going to do what we can with the vehicles, and we're going to make them do the mission. Sometimes you need to just put an X on that mission, because doing that mission is going to make my mission impossible. That doing that is how vehicles catch fire. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I got. I, would, I just wanted to talk about that one person who likes to complain, and they're the only one allowed to complain, and they always say, stop complaining, you know what you signed up for. I do know what I signed up for, and this is not it. I signed up to make a difference, and nothing is changing. Nothing is changing. Nothing is getting done. We get six guns up, we get six cats up, and they go down. 
We don't even know why. We fix one thing, two things go down. We fix those two, three things happen. We fix those three things, four things happen. We fix those four things and then it's fine for maybe like a week. And then something breaks that we've never had to deal with before. So we fix that one thing, two things, three things, four things. It never ends, it never stops because the crews are horrible. We can't do our jobs because the higher ups won't let us do our jobs to the point we need them to go to. It turned into a rant anyways. Thank you, thank you very much for making it turn into a rant anyways. You, stop spitting your oranges back in the bowl. I was, I was gonna do a call out. Let's not do a call out. These are things that I can just tell the person, but it's usually a person that won't let you speak. They won't hear you out. Like if I say you complain too much, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, well I work too much, so blah, blah, blah. Knowing that we're doing the same thing. Plus I'm usually shut down a lot. So, instead of telling the person that we should probably fix this stuff, I'm just going to keep this to myself. If it's here, if you see the video, don't talk to me about it. Just take it to heart. Fix it. Fix yourself. Stop complaining. You make me want to be here less like that was possible. I'm gonna go get some monster. Oh, right. Thanks for watching. I'm King Lucid, signing off. I did it right that time.